Victoria Tallchief is one of six women known as a prima ballerina assoluta. She brings to America an incredible legacy of classical ballet. My most vivid memory is when I first met Madame Nijinska, who was the sister of the famous Václav Nijinsky. And it was after I met her that I decided I did not want to be a pianist. I wanted to be a ballet dancer. In Firebird, I was dancing with Frank Muncion, and I did an arabesque. And I did it. Glee saw it and jumped into his arms and did what I call a back layout. And the audience went, oh! they couldn't believe because first I was upright like this, and all of a sudden, da -dum! and I was back. And the feather I had on my head, which was very much like the feather of my grandfather's <laughs> that used to wear, I had a red feather in my head. It would touch the floor. And then that was the thrilling moment. At the end of the ballet is the wedding scene. It's very quiet. Dum, bum, 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 bum. We didn't know if there was going to be applause or if they liked it. Suddenly, the curtain closed and the audience started screaming. It was like a football stadium. Bravo, bravo! Later on in life, Francis Mason, who was my biographer, said that Maria, the whole audience, was screaming, tall chief, tall chief. <laughs> you see, I think it is an innate thing in the American Indian to want to move, to want to dance. This is the way we are. We, we express our happiness or our sorrow in dance. And this is the heritage. People later said to me, did you have a problem because you were an American Indian that people were resentful of you? I said, on the contrary, I didn't want to be known as a, as a ballet dancer who was an American Indian. I wanted to be known as a ballet dancer, not because I was an American Indian. So this was very important to me, and I had to fight against it. I'll never forget when we opened in New York and I had the big success. In fact, up till then, my mother wanted me to become a concert pianist. But John Martin of the New York Times wrote, Miss Tallchief is a ballerina if I ever saw one. And so that's cemented it for me. That was my career.